Hi angels, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Whether you're new or returning, I'm so happy that you're here. For those of you that are new, I'm Nicole and I'm a vintage handbag luxury lover and collector. And I am so excited for today's video, you guys. In case you couldn't tell by the title, we are going to be unboxing a 50 year old Celine bag. So this bag is from the 1970s and it's also my first Celine bag. I've always wanted a Celine, so I'm so excited for this video today. So let's not waste any time, get right into it. We'll go ahead and do the unboxing and then I'll go into the details of the bag, where I purchased the bag and how much I paid for it. So stick around and let's get into it. Before we do this unboxing, let me just start off by saying I know that there are some slight imperfections with this bag. And when it comes to my vintage handbags, I'm picky, but not too picky if that makes sense. I don't mind if my bags show some wear. I actually love when they have a little bit of character to them, but I do not prefer my bags to look beat up or look like they're falling apart. So there's a big difference between worn and beat up when it comes to vintage luxury. Again, everyone has a personal preference, that's just mine. But but let's go ahead and open this up because I'm so excited. Okay, so here we go. Opening it up. I'm excited yet anxious at the same time, if that makes any sense. You guys, I am so excited. Okay, here we go. My first ever Celine bag from the 1970s. Oh, the packaging is beautiful. Okay, you guys, here we go. This is packaged really nicely. Thank you so much, Jacob. Oh my goodness. Oh. This is so cute. This is so cute. I die, oh my goodness. Okay, let's take it out. I apologize if this is the most awkward unboxing ever. Clearly, I've never done this before. Oh my gosh, this is so cute. Let's see. Dear Nicole, thank you for supporting our small business. I hope you enjoy your new vintage sling bag. It is truly a stunning piece, Jacob. That is so adorable. I think this little card is just the cutest touch. It really makes you feel good about supporting a small business. Jacob, I know you don't have YouTube, but if you stumble upon this video, thank you so much. I'm so excited to open this. Okay, and take a look at this packaging. How adorable is this? You can just tell that there was a lot of heart and soul poured into this. I love that it has the name of the bag, Celine Interlocking O, top handle bag, the authentication provider, and the order number. Absolutely love. Such a cute certificate of authenticity. Again, all of these bags are backed by Jacob, and we'll go into that in a little bit. All right, I'm just gonna go ahead and move this box for the rest of the video. Okay, here we go. I cannot wait, you guys. This bag is gonna be perfect for summer. Let's see. All right. Oh my goodness. The gold is even more stunning in person. I appreciate the durable packaging. Oh my goodness. It is bigger in person, but not in a bad way. Wow. I'm so excited. My first thing. I'm shook right now. It's slightly shaking. Oh my goodness. Okay. Wow. Look at how stunning this is, you guys. First impressions. The gold for its age is so shiny and impeccable. Wow. Just give me a second to take it all in real quick. Oh my goodness. All right, now that I've had a moment, I can talk. So as you can see, this is a vintage Celine white top handle bag. And it is so stunning in person, you guys. It is a box calf leather, so it has that really nice sleek, 
yet shiny glossy texture to it. And the gold plating is absolutely stunning. As many of you know, we don't even get gold plating with Chanel anymore. And the stitching just looks impeccable. Oh my God. It's honestly perfection. I, I just cannot believe this is mine. The bag does have feet, which we always love. And I just cannot believe it's conditioned for its age. Like 1970s, this is a 50 year old bag and it's in such good condition. There's no scuffing, there's no wear on the bottom of the bag, no color transfer. There are some minor slight indentation, but honestly, I was expecting the condition to actually be a little bit worse, but it's better than I expected, which is always a good thing. Let's go ahead and open this up. All right, so we've got the Celine Paris logo inside, made in France, and it's very spacious. And it does have the strap, which I'm going to try on in a little bit. And the inside of this is very big. You can fit a lot in here. I'll show you guys in just a little bit. Let's take out the stuffing. Okay, let me go ahead and show you guys the inside. So as you guys can see, that is very, very spacious. I'm not even gonna bother putting in an iPhone. Actually, let me go ahead and grab it. So here it is with an iPhone 12 for reference. I could even fit a small book, wallet, keys, lip gloss. So space is definitely not an issue with this one. It's actually bigger than I expected. And then it does have another little pocket as well. Zipper looks like it works great. Give me a second to get rid of some of this trash maybe for the video. <laughs> All right, so initial thoughts on the bag is that it is everything I wanted and more. It is elegant and timeless, and overall, I just love the structure of this bag. I think the white and gold combo on this bag, too, is just chef's kiss. has a really nice vintage Celine feel. I think it's stunning. It's definitely giving quiet luxury, and I'm honored to have this be my first Celine bag. Let's go ahead and try it on with the strap. I'm really excited to see what that looks like. Okay. So let's see, I'm gonna go ahead and attach it. And then as you guys can see, it has these two little rings on the side right here. All right, so let's go ahead and attach this. I cannot believe how well this hardware has aged. It's in such good condition. It's such a bright gold. All right, attaching the straps has never really been my thing, so don't mind me while I struggle. Okay, here we go. Okay, let's see. Well, I'm gonna get a full body shot for you guys, but that is super cute. Let me see if I can even wear it as a crossbody. I know Jacob said that for petite frames you could, I am 5'1 for reference. And then yeah, it definitely works on my petite frame. I am so stoked on this purchase. So I do plan to wear this bag mostly as a top handle, just because while I can wear it crossbody, I do think it is a little bit big and bulky on my petite frame. However, we always appreciate the option, especially when we're traveling or if our hands are full. But overall, I do think this is meant to be a top handle bag. And I think that is doing the bag its most justice, but we love our options. So let's go ahead and get into where I bought the bag and how much I purchased it for. All right, so this is referred to as the Interlocking O Celine bag. If you couldn't already tell by the Interlocking O's in the front. And I purchased this from your vintage bestie on Instagram. And yeah, Yes, that is what the shop is called. It's a brand new small business started by Jacob. And I've been following Jacob for quite a while now. I will go ahead and link not only your vintage bestie, but also his personal Instagram. And on his personal Instagram, he just does a lot of great education on handbags, especially vintage handbags. And surprisingly, even though my mom was a handbag collector, she never really taught me how to properly care for my bags. So I've learned so much from him. And once I found out that he was starting his own small business, I just knew I had to support. On top of that too, I just think he has a really good eye for vintage handbags. He's been collecting forever. So again, highly recommend. I trust him. He uses a few different providers as far as authenticity goes, but he guarantees authenticity or your money back. Okay, so I'm sure many of you are wondering how much I purchased this handbag for. And I purchased this handbag for $3.95, which especially after seeing the condition that it's in and how beautiful this is, that is a steal. And it was $3.95 flat, that includes shipping. And again, authenticity is guaranteed. And so this bag is estimated to be around the 1970s. It is pre-date code. That is how old it is. However, when the bag was being authenticated, that is what they estimated the time frame to be around. And I just think it's so cool. You do not see 50 year old bags in this grade of condition. So I am so impressed and so happy. He is currently shipping to the US. So that is the one caveat in case you are outside the US. This is not sponsored in any way. I do not get anything out of this. 
Jacob does not have YouTube. So if you let him know that I sent you, you can include my Instagram handle. I know many of you have been asking. My Instagram handle is at Nikki Bate. Feel free to follow me on there. That is my personal Instagram. I would love to get to know each and every one of you though. I'm so excited to wear this and style it different ways. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you have any questions about this purchase or this bag, drop them in the comments below. And I've already purchased a second handbag from him. So expect that video coming out soon. Thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.